I legit cannot remember the last time I streamed on my day off. Jesus. I need to do it more often, but here I am. Ready for some big gaming. All right. I know what we need to do. That is not, that is not the town system. It's over here on the island. I'm not too sure how long I'll be streaming today. But we're gonna we're gonna be trying to do some big gaming, that's for sure. Would you like a bomb right now? Okay then. Jesus. One rock did that. Sure looks deep. No, no reaction to that. Now, think about uh, the airship we're driving in right now. We can't drive over lava. Sitting in the middle of the thing, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. We'll be all right. mentioned this before but in the past i've had the stream cut off just randomly and like restart itself before and i think i figured out why it did that the rare occurrences it has happened i think it's because whenever i don't have the uh like capture streaming thingy my lover like the main priority like the window that i'm open up the main i think it just cuts it off i think that's the theory So I'm just making sure it's, like, open up at all times. What, trophy right off the map? Rally go. The catch rage would bash should be, uh, referencing, uh, See you later, Sid. Actually, is that the last time Sid's in a party? I think so.
<laughs> just gonna walk right in. It's fine. I've been bing binging uh, FF7 uh, Machinima Bridge, so I may not be as active at Belchwa as last time. Oh, that's fine, Gil. Hey, I'm just happy that you're, uh, you know, you came and just stopped by. I've actually never watched that series. I took off work, so I'm here. Nice. I, I, I know all too well about taking off the work. Now, I know it's very possible to beat this battle before they merge. Probably not going to be doing that. I do want to make sure... What I kill one of the blue ones, too. Plus, I, I mean, if I need to complete the beast here, I also need to find the big one anyway, regardless. Go 
little bit here, looking like he's about to drop the secret beats. <laughs> they call him Mick Golbez. Shadow Dragon. Ah, you see, Radio playing a track card. The mythical be uh, Mist Dragon Mist Attack track card. I don't know. Oh, hey, Radio! Finally got Rigia. Okay, so she still retains Goblin. Definitely one of the weirder parts of FF4, just Gobez's hand. They just Okay, at least they make an attempt here. I think in previous versions, Cecil doesn't even move while this hand is doing its thing. I don't remember. Probably been a little bit. I can do that skip the entire steel cave by using the warp so oh that's right i know what you're talking about speaking of that i just noticed our rpg limit break is going on and i'm very curious what they're streaming this year Do have a schedule? Yes, they do. Okay, so it started yesterday. Got it. Right. 
Let's see, since we're playing FF4, is FF4 present? I see Crisis Core, I see... Is somebody doing 13? Somebody is doing 13, okay. Mystic Quest Randomizer. X2. Yo, Unlimited Saga, let's go. Final Fantasy IX, co-op, that's pretty funny. The first Pixel Remaster. Seven Remake. No, no FF4, okay. I'm not going to be watching any of this live, but I'm definitely going to check out some of the games that are... Definitely piques my interest. Like, I see Parasite Eve on this uh, schedule, too. Wait, no, he isn't. He's already met me. Oh, it's right here, right? The developer's room? Maybe not. I know it's... Or it's supposed to be somewhere. Dwarven X. Might have been on the other side. Oh, right, over here, over here. Dev Team Office Abandoned, 1991. At, at the very least, at least they reference it. But it is a shame you can't explore the Dev Office. Shoot, I guess we're going to... Yeah, I'll go with Dwarven.
Alright, so Rennie already knows Goblin, so we can sell this one. How much does it sell? So, <laughs> 50 gil. <laughs> hey, I'll give you this gum, it's, uh, I'll buy uh, this Goblin Summon off of here for 50 gil. Send a chest downstairs. Native for like Final Fantasy brought back uh, the different races that we see in older games, like the dwarves and elves. Because, God, like, which Final Fantasy games were elves only in? One in the MMOs? And that's it?
Ah, here we go. Hey, veteran treasure hunter. That means we got 50% of all the chests in there. I generally like FF4 soundtrack in general, really. Now that we have Radia on our team, let's give her the, uh, the Silver Apples. Cause she's, uh, she's gonna be in our party for the rest of the game. Oh, we're fifty percent done with the uh B series too, okay. I know I missed a few encounters, but I didn't miss anything that's uh missable. So we can always go do clean up. What's up? Oh. For a moment there, I thought it was a fight in the tank.
Let's see. Does that do that or do anything magical? Yeah, we got like um, ample amount of MP with radio now. I don't have to worry about like MP going down. He was all about the fire sword. Uh, he's got the uh, fire lance on right now. I guess I could switch it back to the dwarf axe right now. Yeah. Makes sense. And what I should probably do is go ahead and take the fireball of uh, Yang as well.
Oh no, he doesn't have it. Unless this uh, has fire properties on it, which I don't think it does. Cecil does have a flame sword. I should have probably bought two Dwarven Axes here. We figured things out. I actually want that on Rose, maybe. No, Radio. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm probably gonna switch the sleep sword with Cecil for now. Monster egg.
元满了You needed one shot. Bring how good Bio was actually in this game. In terms of damage. How did you guys get ambushed by a mystery egg? Some magic. Or magic, yeah. Uh, let's use that summon. Use the summon.
That room encountered right as high. Maybe someday. Rosa is getting all the crits. It's kind of funny.
Medusa. Oh, that's for, uh, defeating 1,000 enemies. What a weird boss slash character. That's just I don't know, I feel like this is like the most random thing about FF4. Dr. Luke. And now I know it's actually possible to defeat Doctor before they do Carbosa Z.
Oh no, I just got my okay. Okay. Left me with no choice. Haste is why he stopped his fly. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I was thinking that. It's, or that's probably what it was. Yeah, I probably just don't have him. Oh, right. Oh, no. For a moment, I was like, wait, you had to jump? Oh, right, he counters the sleeping gas, I guess. Hey, Erdor, this is a fantasy after all. This is true. This is a fantasy after all. Now remember you having this many attacks. And thank you for hailing us. You weirdo. Speaking of haste, we just learned it. Nice. All right. I want to make sure we got all the creatures here that we can get that I might miss out on. Let's see.
I think we're good. And I know technically we can actually come back here at least one more time when we first get Edge. Which I do recall that still letting you do that in the Pixel Remaster version. Which normally we would abuse that because that's really the only way you can get alerts. But in the Pixel Remaster versions, you can actually buy those now on the moon. Which, trust me, we're going to be using alerts quite a bit later on. Hidden level up like freaking Uh well this can I unlock this door with a bomb right now? No. I don't know why it reminds me of, like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yay, no man. Well, thankfully, Yang uh, comes out pretty decently after that. That's fire alert.
Onward and downward. Cecil likes his egg scrambled. I apologize for that joke. I partially apologize for that joke. I don't fully apologize for that joke, but I partially apologize for it. When the cat is afraid, the mice will play. This game ends now. Thanks, Sid. intense speed chase. But for some reason they can't run in a straight line. They're very, they're very, you know, they're, they're doing their best. The drunk wings. <laughs> They're drunk wings.
in. No. <laughs> Sue forgets he's. I want to know is how does in the how in the world does he survive this? Like you literally see the man blow up. My god, if he had that kind of defense in battle. FF4 is almost of it, but they survive to fake out this. Oh, yeah, you're right. Unless they're Tella. If their name is Tella, then that's a different story. But you are absolutely right. Anna and Taylor are pra uh, uh, partially the only named characters to actually die. Yeah, at least with Anna, though, she's not a party member. Taylor just has no excuse. <laughs> Stubbornness is why he's still alive. Is there an unused Anna battle sprite? Oh, hold up. Would have been a cutscene battle, but still. Oh, I did not know that. Why won't you let me copy this? There we go. Obis and Anna share the same sprite sheet. That's kind of nutty. Right, yeah, I know she appears in that bat- uh, in that, um in that battle for like but it was like a single strike that is interesting I now is that only in the PlayStation no it's the Super Nintendo version okay I was about to say that would have been weird if they added that to the PlayStation version but no it, it was in the Super Nintendo though. okay huh I'm just looking at the page now. Oh yeah, I I I, I whenever like I see it pop up, I always spend like a good bit of time on uh the cutting room floor. It, it really is neat. I actually never thought to uh, look too deeply in the FF4. So, like the only thing I do really in terms of strikes cuts is uh, Kane having a casting animation. I do remember that. Interesting. 
Oh, I gotta be directly over to Upcraft. But yeah, shoutouts to uh, the cutting room floor for being uh, a good resource for stuff. It involves a basic, uh, Saul Falk, okay. And who even knows if it's present in, uh, in this version? Okay, so at least there's a way that you can actually see it, so that's pretty cool. Really? Now, I know we can't really do anything over here yet, but... Might as well stop off here. Uh, you want a bomb ring? Okay. It needs you to have Cecil Berserk without using the crystal and sit. Ah. That would do it, yeah. Wait, is Cecil the only one that can use the crystal? Or I thought anybody could use the crystal. Avenger Sword, basically. Okay. Yeah, Cecil. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of the, um... The Randomizer. Because I'm thinking the Randomizer, anybody can use the crystal. Because, obviously, you might have a party without Cecil. Due to plot reasons. Right, 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 right. I mean, that makes sense. I don't think there's any other extra stuff we can do at the moment. I mean, we could grind to get enemy summons, but I'm going to save that till later. Remaster, I will never understand why you made this thing go to a snail's pace when it was fast in the original. I think my favorite bug is still the, um... I forget the exact thing you do, but, like, if you go through a particular door, I think it was, like, 64 times, you lock the game. And the developers actually did an in-game explanation of why that happens. That's still, like, one of my favorite things about FF4, in terms of, uh, bugs. Yeah, it was 64. Okay. 
Let's go with the boys right here. Was this full half human or was he full Lumerian? Don't recall. Seven hundred gil. Like at least this one's a little understandable because, like, hey. We basically lost everything. Can you throw us a gill? We'll let you sleep in our beds. How did they defeat our ninjutsu so easily? Well, considering you guys get three more ninjas for the party in the next game, I think it'll be okay. I still need to play After Years. I have yet to play that whatsoever. It's on the docket. Comes to the after years is too big of a difference between the uh, the WiiWare version or the uh, PSP version, but I'll um, since I had the PSP version, that's the one I would play the stream. But I can't imagine there's too much of a difference between that. Oh wait, there is a 3D version of After Years now, isn't there? That's right. Completely forgot about that version. There's just too many video games. There's so many video games I want to play, so many video games I want to stream. I mentioned it time and time and again. If I was to win the lottery, I wouldn't be spending that money on just like 
whatever, you know, yachts or anything like that, I would be just like, oh, thank God, I got all the free time in the world now. I would just get a normal place. I would just, uh, be able to keep up with bills. I would, uh, tune up my car, make sure it's all good to go. And, and I get get some fantastic Wi-Fi, and then just whatever. I'm just like, all right, time to play video games. And so, oh man, you want like all this money? So you're gonna buy like the most expensive games, right? You're gonna buy that like Super Mario Bros. One that's great at that's a million dollars for some reason. It's like, nah, I'm just gonna play my Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Speaking of the lottery, the Powerball is currently, if I'm not mistaken, like the third largest it's ever been in history. Which is a lot of money. And I'm just saying, um, whoever is out there that's listening, the fates of the world or the flying spaghetti monster, I'm just saying, I don't need that fool. But if you want to pass a couple of it this way, you know, I'm just saying. Oh, I actually didn't know. I've got a minute. Hit the pad. That mysterious guy over there. Yeah. 
she was literally just born just to die. Kind of messed up. We're all born to die, sir. about Rosa, but she's getting quite a bit of critical hits in. Oh, Dino's streaming. What's he streaming today? Oh, yo, he's playing the very first Monster Hunter on PS2. Let's go. What's the name of that sword? Um, Cause Monster Hunter, believe it or not, I actually had a promotion with a video game magazine where you could get their sword in the game in Monster Hunter One. Was it GMR? That's probably my phone letting me know that Dino's streaming. Yep. Yeah, it was GMR. <laughs> there it is. That's so funny. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to watch uh, that replay later on when y'all post it on YouTube. Yeah, Monster Hunter 1 is the only Monster Hunter game I've ever played. And I, I did enjoy it uh, back in the day. And I actually played it online, too. Back on the uh, when the PS2 had its online servers and all that, that was a time. I used to play Monster Hunter and I used to play uh, in uh, Metal Gear Solid Online. Fun times all around. But boy, let me tell you, online game, like online gaming, has certainly come a long way.
shoot. Salvage it. Sorry, I just saw the Yu-Gi-Oh! post on Twitter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I actually, I need to go retweet that. I said crit, but that was a uh, that was just right. There's the blood sword. Okay. Which is never gonna be as good as it was in FF2. Square was like, yeah, we're gonna make this really cool sword. Oh shoot, we made it really busted. We have to nerf this sword every single game it's in from now on. Let me go get his first before going back and get that treasure. Could have spawn checked over there.
Am I supposed to know who you are? Hey, Edge. Poor Tim. I remember in the original, the Super Nintendo PS1 versions of FF4, I always thought Edge looked older than he really was because of his battle sprite. I don't know, he, he just looked like he was older than what he really was. And with that, we have our final party of the game. Well, by end game, we're going to have this set up right here. Jitsu, he can steal. He can use two weapons. Like Yang does. And uh yeah. He can't really take a hit. I think I recall ever anything like noteworthy to steal with Edge in this game was just the alarms. The alerts, whatever they're called. Outside of that, I don't really think there was anything really noteworthy for him to steal. Because most bosses in this game don't really have anything noteworthy to steal from, like FF9 does.
Yeah, how did I miss that before? That can't really be that good of a sword, but no, it's it's actually uh, pretty decent. Alright. Actually, takes a little bit of a hit, but not too bad. It's just better to keep the lights on for a uh, chain. It tends to happen a lot. Like the moment a battle starts, I want I want to go open the map. Well, yeah, the moment like I want to go open the map, I, I just get in a random encounter at that same time. And I, I tend to see that happening a lot during this playthrough. Thank you for uh, piggybacking. Well, no, he didn't jump over the wall. He went underneath. I was about to say, he piggybacked all four other characters to jump over the wall, but he didn't jump over it. What did you say? Are these the ones that the... No, uh, these aren't the one with the thunder trick. That's the one that thunder trick. Pull up the bestiary thing here. Because this is also another spot that we can potentially miss out on some uh, stuff.
Oh, so Shadow's the edge just sprite for him getting hit. It's always hilarious to me. Like my man's trying to like break down or something. That's also another good thing about Bio, too. It doesn't have a wait turn. You, you can just instantly cast it, really. Not gonna lie, I still like the bio sound effect a little bit more in the original. It's not quite the same here in Pixel Remaster. Like, it's not quite the same, but it's not like too far off. It's just like, it's just off enough that you notice it. I might be saying that because I got headphones on, so I have a little bit more, like, I can hear it just a little bit better. First time Cecil was able to do anything with this. Or no, he's got he's got the never sword. I was like, wow, that's the first time he was able to do that. I was like, oh yeah, because I just equipped that sword. No, that was the item that I used. I think that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, that's what I needed. The item did stop all.
Good job, Rosa. That's an axe, right? Yeah, that's an axe. messages from the T-Man. Are you present? Uh... I am on the Twitch. He's got the ocean. Ring me in. Right. Eyes emoji. See, I, I, I literally just texted you on Twitter. I'm shocked they don't have the eye emotes on here. They really don't? Oh, they really don't. That's weird. Twitch, you need to get on that. Yeah, I'm hopping on Discord right now. You know my computer, it, it takes a little bit. Okay, I thought I was gonna call you, but... Yeah, how far in are you? Uh... Get the screen share, but, uh... Oh, well, let right. me see it. Let me screen share. Can I screen share this... Properly. It looks like Tower of Babel? Yeah, uh, I just got Edge. Like, literally just a couple minutes ago. Oh, I can't hear you, by the way. You have to change your Discord audio settings. Ah, uh, what do you mean? I'm flashing green! I know, give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Where's my mic setting? Uh. Oh, because I got streamer Get out of streamer mode, thank you. Uh, help! What, what, what happened? Okay, can you hear me now? I've been here you. Can you hear you me? You didn't say anything? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta screen share this puppy. Uh, it will not let me. What? 
It doesn't even show up like on the bottom left on Discord. It does not. That's weird because it should say a uh, Final Fantasy IV game thing. It will let me stream the Streamlabs that I'm using, but it would. Not. I guess like you could do that. That's fine. Eh, it looks weird. I know what I can do. Hold on. I'm scared. I don't think it's gonna be go off stream for a little bit, guys. Hold on. Maybe you have to change the borderless window. That's my only guess. And I just locked his connection to the game on stream. Hold on. Yeah, it'll rehook in a minute. But my capture device is stopped capturing the game. Oh, it's off your Switch? My Switch? No, I'm streaming on my PS5. Oh, same thing. Mm -hmm. Probably not, but, you know. All right. Sorry, like, these these ports are, like, ubiqui ubiquitously on the PC in my brain. I always forget they have a console release. Oh, I thought you said Switch. I did. I thought you were playing this on your Switch. I didn't know you had it on your PS5. I figured you'd get it on your handhelds. Make more sense, I think. I, I still never played my Switch undocked. I've only ever played it docked. Yeah, but, you know, there's always, always time to change, you know? I'm, I, I'm sorry, I'm not playing Mario Wonder undocked. I mean, there's a good chance I won't either, but, I mean, <laughs> you never know. If I go on a road trip, I like to take it out and play it. And I get that, and I know that's the big appeal with the Switch. But I don't have that luxury. I say that as, like, I play my DS on my lunch break still at work. Uh, I am having a hard time getting this to stream share. I am streaming the game just fine. That's weird. But... I mean, you can just screen share the OBS, but I, mean, I won't complain. But you'll see everything. That's not really that big of a deal. Oh no, not your scenes. Oh no, my... <laughs> I don't know, you might have a heart attack if you see my mess. Oh, it couldn't be worse than what I had to clean out to get mine to run better. Oh, what a freaking nightmare. Is 30 frames okay? Yeah, I mean, I don't... I mean, do you want much of a choice? Do you have Nitro? No. Yeah, then, no, no biggie. Wait, I thought they gave me the 60 frames because I was, like, inducted into the beta for that. Oh, or no, that was the, um... That was, that was something else. Yeah. Anywho, uh, so you're at the, what, the Tower of Babel, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, one thing I am doing differently in this playthrough is I'm trying to do everything because I want to get the Platinum for this game. Can you turn on the, the font that isn't ugly? I don't know. I, it doesn't look good. The pixel font? Really? Let me see it. Uh... Oh. It just looks too uh, tiny. It's a... Ooh, yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, the other font looked bad. It's like Maybe pick, it doesn't right? look as bad on my TV screen. I just, I just think this just looks too tiny. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, you, you want something that people on stream can read. Right. More and than it probably doesn't look as bad on stream. Oh, I see. I can also go to the regular music, too, but... No. New! I know. <laughs> How did you click the downgrade button? Let's no offense see. to the Let's... original soundtrack. Okay. They're good. Just... You lost? No, I was just making sure I got everything there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does the platinum require you to get every chest? Yes, every chest and oh. every hidden item. Uh, which means you have to get the adamant armor, right? That's a separate trophy. Oh, that doesn't count for the platinum? No, I mean it does, it's, but it's its own trophy. Oh, it's, oh, I'm, I'm at the same time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is the platinum just get every trophy then? Or is it, um... Yeah, the platinum is get every single trophy in the game. So I need to get Excalibur, I need to get the... Armor. Well, Dark Bahamut's not that bad. He's not. Weirdly. Yeah. Weirdly, it's, it, it seems pretty daunting, but... All you really need is, um... Just level up enough to get Reflect. 
Well, no, you basically just need to survive the first turn. Like, as long as you have enough characters after the first, like, initial attack he does, you can get Reflect up. I forget what the method was. I think you have to put Reflect on him or something. That a minute. sounds right. Uh, hold on. I remember the strat being, like... Oh, no, he cast Reflect on himself. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. And then he balances Flare. And the, the, the hardest part of that fight is that he starts off with Mega Flare. That's the only time he uses it. I didn't know they can miss self-destruct. It's funny. Really? Oh yeah, and you can also reflect spells off of yourself? Yes. Because that's the whole gimmick with the, uh, the Magus sister fight. They cast, uh, spells off themselves. They do bigger damage. I think that's the game's way of telling you that you can do that. Probably. But they don't really tell you that it goes through the status, they just... And I show you that you can do that. And I think reflected spells do do more damage, right? I'm fairly certain they do. I want to say that it does, but I don't remember. But yeah, the hardest part of uh, Dark Bahamut is just that first turn. Yeah. Once that's out of the way, he's not so bad. But yeah. You've been up for two hours. Holy cow. What? Oh, yeah, because you, you woke up really late. I really <laughs> did, and I, that was unintentional. I figured. Like, the moment I texted you back about that, I was only away for 15 minutes. So whatever time I texted you on Discord, or Twitter, whichever it was, is basically, basically when I woke up. Wow. Yeah, I do plan on doing Mario stuff later today, but I'm gonna hang out here in the meantime. That's fine. Just uh, let me know whenever. Sure. I'm enjoying this right now. I love FF4. It's a good game. Pretty fun, yeah. It's a... Uh... Oh, there he goes with the reflect. Do you plan on Berserking Edge, or does Rosa not have that yet? I don't think she has it yet. Or, uh, Rydia. Wait. I get the magic spells mixed up in this game. No, Berserk is white magic in this okay, game for some okay. reason. I don't know why. Just like how haste is white magic and uh, slow is or stop is black magic. Yeah, I guess. But like, I don't know why Berserk is considered a white spell. But um, I didn't make the game. It wasn't my decision. Well, I think we said it best when we were on your stream that one time that this is the best NES Final Fantasy game. As weird as that sounds. Yeah, because it's pretty much <laughs> everything about this, at least the Super Nintendo original, mm. felt really 8-bit. Uh, but I believe that is what it was. It was being developed as a Super Nintendo yes, game. Yes, there's even a screenshot of what it looked like on Nintendo. And then the Super Nintendo came out and they just shifted to... Mm -hmm. Like this game literally Photo... came out in 1991, which... Was that the same year the Super Nintendo came out? No. No? No, Super Nintendo was, uh, 89 or 90. Hold on. Was it really late 90s? Or late 80s? 1990 in Japan, 1991 in North America. Okay. Yeah, it was, 90, it was the 90s. Mario World is a 90s game. Okay. Well, if we're using, like, the same terms for, like, music periods, Mario World is, like, an 80s game that just came out in the 90s. <laughs> Because it was basically being made in that's the That's kind of wild that you could, that, like, that's accurate. It's like, oh yeah, that game was being made in the 80s, but it came out in the Oh 90s. yeah, most things, most things that come out in the year 1990 were being worked on before then. It's just funny that you can technically say, oh yeah, that's an 80s video game. Because I'm sure that game was demoed at showcases or somewhere in the 80s.
every time I see the level up screen, I'm like, oh, that's a good level up, but it's like, oh, wait, it's not like Fire Emblem, it's not random. It depends on which one. Some of these tons of games do have random stat ups. I don't. FF1, I know it does. It's not okay, a so remastered versions are random? No, this is the original. In oh, FF1, original. you can get good or bad level ups, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, yeah, Jesus Christ. Wow, you have a lot of money. Have you bought anything lately? Or... Yeah. I wow. just think that sort of it's easy to grind money. It's maybe is. maybe I just forgot how much money they gave me or my playthrough. I didn't grind as much as you or something because I don't remember having this much. Kill. <laughs> like, damn, that's quite a bit. Are you thinking about what chest you missed? You at the top already? I did. I got a checklist to decide. I'm just making sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Because unfortunately, in this game, there are a few things you can miss permanently, and I just wanted to avoid that. Ugh. Shout out to FF1, though. You can never permanently miss that version of uh, anything in that game. Uh, let's see. Oh god, this must have taken you a lot of preparation. To get like this whole list of things uh, and then honestly, make sure I'm, like for the most part I'm going off memory, <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh no. Okay, and I literally bad. I literally only looked up the stuff that I know for sure you can miss, like the the, back, the towers, you can miss that on. And the uh the giant, you can miss out stuff on that. Because yeah, it's a one time visit location, right? Like it's yeah. not and I think that's only the only ones. I think everything else you can revisit again. That sounds right, because they do give you access to the underworld again. Yeah. You're not completely hung to dry. Okay, I think I'm missing. Unless they're placed somewhere randomly for some reason. Oh, okay, that thing. Yeah, I think we got everything. Because I'm only supposed to have six chests right now, if I did my raft right. So is there like a random egg monster in here that is rare or something? Yeah, like that! Jesus Christ! I didn't know that could happen here! Okay. Well, it's, it's dead, <laughs> like it matters. That's actually the, uh, Most of... uh, for the speed run, that's actually the monster you want to grind off of. Oh yeah, a lot of experience, right? This is Rubicant? Yeah. Yeah, oh. Luge is in the... No, he's here too. No, we fought him already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, this is this is this is Rubicon. Yeah. Luge. Luge was it's the weirdest thing in this game, I gotta say. He's not very hard. I it's think not. Like, he's just random. Like, the only things is that like the first phase he might do a lot of damage with some random crap and then you just heal up and then like when you get to the second part it's just piss easy, right? Like he's not he doesn't put up much of a fight at all. Can we look at like, this? Actually, it, you can skip both some of that fight. If you kill the scientist first. Oh yeah, because Barnabas just goes like, uh, yeah, blows up like or something. Scientist. I don't remember. Yeah, this fight you just defend, right? This doesn't matter if you attack or don't. I... Oh. I think if you want to speed it up, you'd attack them. Nah, I don't remember anything about that. They're about to change color, it'd be really funny. Oh no, it's totally gonna hurt Kip. <laughs> wow. Look, they're resistant, okay? That's the reason why. You got, like, the armor for it. Oh yeah, a uh, cool trick you can do with Rubicant that I don't know if you knew. Uh, if you cast a fire spell on him while his cloak is up, he'll actually just cast revive on your whole party. Really? 
Yes! I want you to try that, actually, for me. When he has his cloak up, just hit him with, like, fire one. Nothing yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. just, like, the tier one fires. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a drink, but you're gonna love that. I remember when I learned that trick, I thought, that's really neat. Huh. Hold on, one second. <laughs> Or edge. Yeah, no, this upcoming boss fight is really interesting. Uh, he's, uh... I think the worst part about this fight is the Inferno attack that he has. That's about, like, the only... I remember that giving me a hard time. I don't even know if it was because I had the didn't have the resistant armor or what. All I lost right. track of my equipment by this point in the game quite a bit until I got it later. I still need to watch your playthrough, of uh, your replay through in this game. Well, it went pretty good for the most part. That's good. Did you do, like, all the optional bosses? Some. Uh, well, actually, no, I did all the ones in the last dungeon. The, um... Oh, okay. Well, all the, the dark chests. ones and Ogopogo, which is... <laughs> why it's called Ogopogo. Shout out to Ogopogo. No, I was looking up, um, mods for these games, too, and I uh, ran into some really funny things. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there was one that restores the uh, PS1 FF5 enemy names, which means Carla Boss became like Carl Boss, which is just <laughs> really funny that his name is just Carl Boss. Anyways, okay. Nothing will be so, as funny as Mylan in the original four. Mylan? Oh, yeah. They could just fit Scar Migli on it. It's a call him Mylan. All right, so the minute he, like, um, recurls up into the cave. Yeah. You want to? Holy crap. I don't remember it doing that much when I played. <laughs> wow, that's pathetic. Uh, maybe he'll do, uh... Yeah, yeah, leave Rydia, because you're gonna, you're probably gonna have to yeah, revive set. Oh! Yeah, leave, leave her, uh, to... When, when he cloaks up again. Oh, oh, here he goes. Okay, okay. So now just hit him with, like, fire one. Like, regular ass fire. Yeah. Watch this. Huh. Yeah, he'll cast life on your whole party. So if anybody's dead uh, at that point in the fight, uh, you can just do that. <laughs> that's really funny. pretty, pretty funny. I, I didn't know about that until recently, and I thought, well, that's a really weird thing you can do. I don't even know how they thought anybody would find that, or let alone why they programmed it in. But it works with any fire spell. But uh, obviously, you want to—you don't want to heal him very much. So. Right. Uh, she might die. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> she hella died. That's like Omega dead. Oh wait, wait. Do you have any um? Maybe Edge can use like flame or whatever. Maybe that'll work. You can save a phoenix down. <laughs> oh no, never mind. I, I had plenty of gear. It's okay. So much you make use of this very epic, cool strategy. That makes perfect sense, and isn't just weird. Stop, I'm not even hitting you! It should be okay, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just that one. Yeah, Inferno is about the worst you can do to you in this fight. You know what? That's fair. <clears throat> That's fair. What? 
Huh. Oh, I know what happened. I think you fucked with his AI script. Did I? Cause um, I think if you hit him with the magic spell when his cloak is up, he casts Blizzara on himself. And it heals him. But I guess you hit him right before he was about to do that, and his I AI script so. is a little ahead. <laughs> so he just ended up hitting himself with Blizzard and just hurting himself. That's pretty funny. Ugh. That's a pain. That, this is the, really the worst part about this fight. Is, uh... Dealing with... Uh... Physical attack should be okay. Yeah. Well, fuck. Oh, Kane's not even here. Nah, it's fine. No, oh, I know. He'll get the experience. He's really funny. He's gone. <laughs> That's really, kind of Kane in a really. Most of his fight in the air, yeah. I mean... Oh, you I, 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 he did, did he betray you again, again? No, or are we not there yet? not there yet. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, you get the last crystal um, after this. You go to the sealed cave, right? Yeah. yeah. And then Kane goes, oh, I'm Kane. And, he and then, like, the immediately, not long after that, you get him back again. Uh, it's a pretty good amount of time, actually. You go through the whole giant of Babel and you have Fusoya for a bit. You know, Fusoya's everybody's like, favorite character. Fusoya's like the good Tella. Your Highness. Hut, 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 oh. hut, 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 hut. He's actually the one you'd want to get in a free Enterprise run. Which has never really happened with me. Yeah, I've, I've only heard from other people from experience, and they've talked about it. Where they, where they're like, uh, ooh. By the time I'm like get a decent party going, I like have two Cecils, and I'm like, okay, I'm pretty good. the moon. Well, if FF8 has taught me anything. By the way, these guys are ninjas. I know it's hard to believe. That was probably the most difficult fight so far. Everything is pretty much been a cakewalk for me. Yeah, four is not that hard. Well, it is sometimes. It, it is. It is if you don't know what you're doing in some situations. Well, I think they they still have a higher rate of experience. Like I think oh, uh, uh, Jesus Christ! I was about to call Bahamut Obama, and I don't know why. I think if you don't know what you're going to do with Bahamut, then I think you can have some trouble. But what you know... Right, here's the last two chests. Yeah, like, uh... I think in the original you leveled up a little slower. Like, it, it's not as high as it was when this game first launched. Yes, yeah. You might be wondering why I'm not casting bio on these eggs. That's a good question. Wait, there's not an enemy I can miss here, can is there? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Guess she find out later. <laughs> the mithril gold? 
and make sure you fought them. I think you probably have, to be quite honest. They're, they're pretty common. These are bosses. Let's see Stone Golem. Scroll down a little further. Uh, are they here? Oh, I think... Oh, you can't really trust the order. It's kind of all over the place. Oh, good. Well, that'd be really helpful if it was right. Because look at I'm looking at this at her. Kind of a hater, I guess, in this regard. No, I am missing a few enemies, but if the little I am missing is ones I can get immediately right away. I mean, you don't... I think they're all uh, back on that previous floor. I think that's what it is. Uh oh. oh yeah, Blaster is not it's not as it's not as insane in later games. Oh, but it can still happen. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure it can still instantly kill you. Maybe it's the uh the other cat one so You're probably thinking of the FF2 random encounter involving those enemies. <laughs> Wherein every time they hit you, you just died. But they still had Blaster, which had a chance. So you I'm know not what? Sure. At least FF2 I'm not sure why. had the Blood Sword. I'm not sure why they thought, hmm, you know, we should make the physical attack do that. But they'll also have Blaster, which is just like a worse version. So I'm um, fine, I guess. It's actually pretty funny earlier. I got the Blood Sword. I'm like, hey, it's useless in this game. Yeah. Yeah, it's never been the same since. Oh, okay. Good. Wait, yeah, you don't summon it, do you, mate? It's, it's not one of those situations where I can only get it from the summoner? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you're, you're asking me a really specific question. I'm trying to remember. Let me go to the wiki. I feel like I remember just running into them. Oh wait, this is actually fine. I gotta attack. Oh, you can find them in the lunar, lunar wait, lunar ruins. That's uh, that's not in this version. Seventh and sixth floor, okay. and I'm on the eighth. I want to make sure I get this guy, because 
I know there's a bug that you can get back into this place. One time. I think. But still. So the, the, the stone golems from anything? Did you find out? Uh, they're on the room? seventh and uh, sixth floor. Yeah, seventh and sixth floor of this place. Yeah, cause I don't recognize them from here, but it's saying they're a rare encounter for some reason. And it's only on this side. Also, you gotta kill a monster before it hatches too. That counts as the beast area. Oh, the egg, you mean? Yeah, you gotta kill the egg itself. How? I just did it. I was just checking to see if I could get some info on the spawn rate. All, all I'm seeing here is it's just it's rare encounter. Well, that's all you're getting. You just it's... run away, I think. It'd be faster. I want the heal. You already... Okay, okay. You're, you're contradicting what you're telling. I have enough kill, but I want more? Yes. Remedies are very expensive, okay? And, and... I gotta buy alerts later on too. You can actually buy them in this version. Oh, ethers, you mean? Yes. No, uh, alerts, alarms, whatever they're called. Oh, to summon um, pigtails or princess yeah, plans. Yeah, for the princess plans, which you gotta kill. They're really annoying. And you, 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 yeah. Yeah. They did increase the drop rate, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that makes sense. Cause I, I got the goblin summon like right away in the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, I'm like, oh, maybe oh, wow. maybe it's the, just the summons, but I'm I swear I remember it just drop rates in general being pretty I being increased. Wouldn't be surprised. For the record, completely behind that decision. Oh yeah, me too. That's fine. I don't think you have to make it like. Don't make really it really super common, common, but yeah. But like, there's no reason. Like, being honest, there's no reason for it to be that hard to get. No, you don't want to be like that one item in Earthbound? Hmm. Well, the nice thing about that is that unlike the Adamant, well... well I don't know. By the time you get that, is it really that important? The Adamant armor you get, like... Really late. Well, not really. It's like during the final dungeon, right? Uh, like, it's not a bit. before. Because I'm pretty sure you can run into those enemies the minute you get Fusoya, right? Because they're in, like, the Lunar Caves. That might be right. Hold up. It's been a Let me bit. check this. Let me check this out. Like, literally, the last time I played this game was when it came out on Steam. Flame Princess, here we go! Final Fantasy IV, okay, get the article. Uh, da, da, da. Lunar Subterrain! Uh, okay, no, you find them in the final dungeon, I'm mistaken. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, it's like literally a couple floors before uh, the final boss. Well, I don't know, I think they're early. Hold on. Uh, basement 5. 
which is before Ragnarok, but then there's uh, the Lunar Core has like three other floors. I just got a heart for Edward, so yay. Oh, great. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if you could have the mechanic they added in that other re-release of the game? Well, I mean, they wanted to be true to the original. I think that's like the only um, GBA feature I actually miss across all these games. I think that one did improve FF4 a lot. What was the things they added for the GBA version of 5? Was it just a couple classes? Uh, it was those three extra classes, two of which weren't really that great. Cannoneer was interesting, but it was kind of like a, a weird chemist. Okay. And um, the gladiator was just whatever. You never had to use it because uh, it, its skills are pretty gimmicky, and uh, the, the stat carryover was no better than the monk. But the Oracle, interestingly enough, uh, had a higher magic stat than the Summoner. So if you mastered that class, you would technically get better stats on your Freelancers oh, for their okay. magic. So that that's a was, benefit. Yeah, that, that's of, of those three, yeah. It was 36 extra magic power instead of 33, which does scale exponentially with levels. So I mean, like, obviously, that plus 36 bonus is going to mean a lot more as you get higher mm -hmm. in the levels. But it's not enough to like, oh, you need to master that. It's more like, you can if you want. Um... Was that the only thing they didn't add, like, any more bosses or anything to that version? They did, they added a whole other extra dungeon. There was, oh, okay. uh, Neo Shinryu, Omega Mark II, NUO, and well, actually there was a ton of extra bosses. Okay. They had, like, this... They had that... Basically, it was a pulse game dungeon that was kind of, like, the size of the void. Oh, like, um... FS6's bonus dungeon? Kinda, yeah. I gotta use the restroom, but I'll, I'll explain more when I get back. Okie dokie. Where are these goals? There's one, jeez. Yeah, they were, uh, they added a, oh, there it is. Look at that. Now you got him. How exciting. Just a triple uh, check. <sighs> wow, look at all that material stuff you could get, which is, uh, not useful, I think, at this point in the game. Make sure that's the only enemy I need to worry about, because I got the other one, correct? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. And I'm still missing a chance, but I don't think that's totally...
but you were saying about FF5, the uh, the bosses or how the dungeon works? Yeah. So the actual sealed temple itself, you've got like the Grand Davis, the Ar Archaeodemon, there's another Guardian boss. So they're, they're, and then you fight. So they're just like souped up versions of other bosses in the games, basically? Basically. Well, okay. not quite. They're pretty different, but like... Oh, okay. So really, the Pixel Remaster version is not really missing too much. Mm -mm. It seems like the only one that's really losing out a whole lot is FF4's Pixel Remaster. Mm -hmm. And that's only because the party switching mechanic was a huge... A huge addition to that version of the game. And that, maybe uh, FF6? Pixel Remaster? Uh, FF6 had a lot of extra content, but it also, I don't know how much of it was that good, to be honest. Well, I know Forest misses like a ton of boss fights from other Final Fantasy games. Well, you know. <laughs> but what can you do? I still like this version. And hey, if anything, you know, the, the remixes we got in these versions of the games, fantastic. So did you end up determining anything uh, yesterday? Determining what? Did you end up doing like, any streaming yesterday? No, oh, I okay. was kind of chilling. Hey, nothing wrong with being chilling. Did I not just cast an Oh yeah, they they don't really you don't really get much MP out of it. I can't get over that that sprite looks like Edge is flipping the enemies off. He just might be. I mean, given Edge's character, yeah. His name is Edge. It's true. Do you, think that's, his, you think that's his real name? Yeah! They, they straight up say it is. His, his name is really funny. If you've ever looked up, do you know his full name? What, his actual name, or...? He has a, he has a last name, yeah. Well, I know his last name, but I didn't know if, like, Edge was just, like, him trying well, to change his name. his name. That's his name! According to the game. According to the game? But no, he could be he, making it up. No, he's not. Just to sound cool, like, he might be, like... No! Could, could you imagine his real name is, like, Edward? He's like, oh, I don't want to be like that other prince. Oh! Oh, that's funny. You say Edward? 
Yeah. I was under the impression that his name was Edge, but apparently his name actually is Edward. Wait, really? That's cool. Yeah. I guess they just didn't want him to be confused with the actual other Edward in this game. Then why game. Daniel made Edward in the first? <laughs> you want to just call him Edge? I don't know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty funny. Holy shit, he's 40 in the after years. That's insane. He does not look 40 in that game. In the after oh Jesus. I was actually commented how Edge's old sprite in the Super Nintendo game made him look like he was older in the battle sprite than what he really uh, was. No, I mean he's not that young. He's 26. I mean that's pretty that's an adult. Uh, I mean he he looked much older than that in his battle sprite in that game. You think so? I think so. In Pixel Remaster, he looks like he's like more closer to what he's supposed to be. Oh yeah, more closer to his age, yeah, I guess. I can see that maybe, but... Hey, we got two airships now. Now... We were chased by this thing over lava. Now, you see here... Plot. <laughs> The plot relevance. Like, listen here, buddy man. You have returned. Where's that dwarf that was with you? You mean Sid? Right. It'd be that, well, actually. Uh, the guy that blew himself up but didn't blow himself up? I would <laughs> never get. That's the worst retcon of all time. It's because not even not a retcon, because it... it happened in the game. Well, no, that's what I mean. It's like the worst fucking, oh, just kidding of all time, because it's less than an hour later and he's alive. You're like, oh, okay. They died, but it didn't matter. I mean, Someone, why I mean, even do it, right? Granted, it's still, like, I wish he had that defensive battle, though. Guys survived an explosion like that. Yeah, I know. You, you, you wish he was relative, like, representative of how he was as a party member, but, like, he's a... <laughs> he's really bad when you have him, to be quite honest. He's not the greatest, no. You know, he's pretty terrible. I think like, he's he, pretty He's kind of just there to have a party member. I actually think he might he might be more dead weight than Edward for the time you have him. Which is really sad. But I think Edward genuinely has more useful functions. I wonder than, uh, if he's better in the advanced version. Uh, maybe with the extra post-game equipment. It's possible? I don't know, though. I, I didn't really like using him much. So. Honestly, yeah, usually the parties I see everybody using in those games is they literally use the same in-game party, except they'll switch out they Edge. With change Yang. Edge for Yang, because yeah. you can just berserk Yang, you'll do a ton of damage. The only thing Sid has is a lot of HP, but I feel like Cecil and, and Yang both do that, so it doesn't really matter. And at least it makes sense for Yang to have that much HP, because when he's doing the focus, he takes more damage. No, it makes sense for Sid to have it too, but it's all he has. <laughs> it's all, that's, that's like the only good thing about him. His weapon selection doesn't make him hit particularly hard. His accuracy isn't great. Uh, the scan ability is fucking useless. Nobody uses the scan spell. Nobody's about to use an ability on it. Yeah, not an FF4. Um... No, dude, I've always hated scan, because it just feels completely useless, especially in a game with a bestiary. Like, enemy encounters are not difficult well, enough Well, I mean, at least it was the bestiary was a person in the Super Nintendo version. I guess it makes more sense, but I'm also just like, whatever, dude. Right. <laughs> It's not that useful. Even there. Even there. It is just not incredible. And that's really the bottom line on that one. Whereas, like... Oh, you... I don't know how to explain what I was gonna say. Don't worry about it. What? 
Nah, I had an example in my head and I just forgot what I was gonna say, but it doesn't matter. Sid's just not good. I don't have to- I don't have to make up any hypotheticals. Nobody needs it. Everybody just played these games. I don't need the coding, do I? No, I can't get it just yet. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the cave to get into it. Oh, uh, you have to go back to the Dwarven Castle and talk to Sid. Oh, right, he was there. Yeah, he's gonna put the thing on your head. I don't know, I can... don't know why I was thinking I did that after the single cave. Dude, I, I always forget to. <laughs> this part of the game is really weird. The way the progression works is you basically just go back to the same area. A lot. I can. Where's my food? My dude, you survived a bomb. How did the 3D version of this game handle it? The same. Oh. <laughs> I mean... It... <laughs> Sorry. It's disappointing, I'm sure. I'm sure that's a very disappointing... Uh... We were talking about how Edge was 40 and after years. How old is Rivia then? Because oh, she, cause she was in the see. land of summons and she aged faster. Down here. Let's find out! In the after years, Rivia is 24. And yet Edge is 40. Well, yeah, because Rivia was 8 during all of it before. She but was she aged. aged. I don't know if they're counting that. That's the hard part. Oh, yeah, they might not be counting that. I don't know. She's not a human. She's a human. Well, she's kind of. The only person who's not in our party that's not human is uh, Cecil. And but even yeah. then, he's what? Half? Is he half human? Yeah, because him and Gomez are half brothers, right? Another brothers. Are they full? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? That is weird that they did that. Her battle sprite is slightly different. That's funny. Oh, you're saying yeah. like, Gil posts it? Yeah. Huh? What? Oh, you're talking about Rydia. Oh. Gil posted earlier that Anna might have actually had a battle, uh, might have been planned for a battle. Because she actually had... Sure getting killed. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, yeah, that makes Rosa pretty fucking old in after years, too. Still looks 36? Good. What the fuck? Wait, really? Huh? Wait, is Cecil? How old is he? <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Cecil's 20? In, in this. Are you serious? He's younger than Edge? He's six years younger than Edge. What? <laughs> yeah? Wow, I don't know, that's a hard one to swallow, I have to say. Yeah, Cecil always struck me as, like, in he his 30s. Like 30. yeah. yeah like... Same with him and Rose. Wow, that's very strange. I wonder if they actually thought out the... Well, okay. I, I don't think they thought out the ages because they never planned a sequel for this game. Oh, yeah, no, they didn't... <laughs> that shit was decided much later, I'm sure. But still, wow. Yeah, Cecil always struck me as, like, in his 30s in this game. How old is Kane? Always oh, older than Cecil. That makes sense. By one year. Yeah, because they grew up together. So how fucking old is Edward not the... Edward's 24? He's older? Than... Really? That's nuts. So Edward, Edward is also 40 in the after years, but he looks younger than Cecil. <laughs> because, of course. That's how that works. It's just a number to these people, I guess. Oh, by the way, this game used to have the oldest party member in the series until 13. Shadows to 13. Oh, well, it was a Sid, right? No, uh, Fushima. Oh, Fusoya, yeah, because yeah. he's, uh... He doesn't have an age. But... He does not have an age listed here. No, he's like 900 or something like that, I think. <laughs> Too old. He's really old. However, Fang and, um, Fanil are over a thousand years old in 13, so there you go. Oh, yeah, of course. 
<laughs> it says his true age is unknown, but as he reached Earth when humanity was still evolving, he may be one of the oldest characters. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I'm Funny that he's still humanoid. I find that really weird. Yeah. They didn't specify his age, sorry. As far as I can tell. Okay, but... I, I, I thought they did, but he's pretty old, is the point. Yeah, ancient. He's very fucking old. That's why uh, when he dies, he, he like collapses into a pile of hair. You want a bomb ring? Why do you still have that? It's a key item, you can never get rid of it. I know that, but like, why Why did they keep it? That's a good question. Maybe he's like, hey, Rydia, you want this? You remember this? You remember that yeah. time we met? Just hang on to it, you know, it's a great souvenir. Jesus Christ. Where's the other hidden item? Maybe, maybe in poor taste a little bit. There's like a chance that might be in... Might be in harrowing, uh... <laughs> Harrowing taste, but you know, I don't. I'm not him. I can't speak to that. Oh, it's right there. That's MP, right? What? The Soma drop? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. Man, could you imagine if I gave this to Tella when he was alive? He could cast Meteor. I think that's why you can't get it. I I, re I think I recall a speedrun that you can get him to use Meteor. I want to say. Yeah, you might be able to... Um, there might be like a way to get him to do it with the Soma drop. Hold on, let me look it up and see if you could actually get one before you lose Tele. If it's anywhere on the wiki. I, I feel like... I want to say that was a thing. Cockle Sporge, Sylph Cave, and Lunar Ruins dropped from the Bog Witch. Maybe they like glitched the inventory. That's in some probably way. What That's it probably was. what they did. I know there's some bugs with Tela's spell selections that I remember from the speedrun, but I don't know the exact specific. Oh, by the way, I can confirm they still cut the Peninsula Power out in the uh, FF1 Pixel Remaster. They what? The pistol, uh, Peninsula Power in FF1 is still cut in this version. Oh, of, yeah, uh, I, mean, I figured. It's still here in FF4, though. Weird. In fact, they expanded it. You don't really need it in, in the You really don't, not one. in this game. Just because Cecil doesn't carry over his stats to his paladin form, which, my god, that would be busted if he did do that. I meant like in FF1, Pixel Remaster, you don't really need it. Uh, it was more, that's, it, it was better for the gill, really, than the level ups. Oh, I have to think this. Yeah. Good mercy me, where did you come from? Oh, hold on. Let me go in here. Let me see how much they're going to rip me off for the end. Would you move? Thank you. <laughs> oh, 300. Yeah, okay. That's actually reasonable. That's not bad. Is that? Oh, man. I I'm never going to stay at the ca dwarf castle again. It's like 700 gil for a night. Holy crap. Heck, I'll just drive over to Cecil's bed and sleep for free. Yes, I'm a cheapskate. I do have the Blood Spear, which is still stronger, but the accuracy on that thing is so bad. Like, at least 79 is something I can work with, but 32? Doesn't the Dancing Dagger have a chance? What? Let me see. Dancing Dagger? Oh. 
That's not the one that has a chance for instant death, does it? What? I hope not. I don't think so. Where'd it go? Wait, are you still wearing it? No. There it is. Oh no, okay. I'm thinking of some game that has like a dagger that has like instant death properties. Not coming to mind, but maybe it was FF9. Oh, I don't really recall the dancing dagger nah, it's probably being not. I, I it's that else. good in this game. I mean, I have it in, uh, or I had it in my four job fiesta run, mm. and I just replaced it with the air knife because I'm pretty sure that's just better, anyways. So, you know. Might as well boost my wind magic, right? Might as well. Are you done with that run? No. Okay. I'm probably gonna do it today, too. Maybe. Well, depending on how I feel. I'll do a little bit of Mario and then I'll do... Poor job, Fiesta! Uh, do I really want to grind for money? Not really. <laughs> Not for that. But does it have any other effects? Uh, increases intelligence. No, there's a button you can press to view the description. Okay, nothing crazy. Resist the lightning. Uh, what's coming up? The wall boss is coming up. Oh, that's easy. Just berserk people. He's like one of those bosses that you can just do that and get away with it. Uh, it's hinted for me. I think it's like most bosses. <laughs> okay, it's it's every boss that doesn't have a gimmick. No, I'm pretty sure it's most of them. There's a few you don't you want just, to use it on. I don't like... really think you, you want to have Edge not berserk, really, in oh. any boss fight. That's true. I mean, heck, for the last boss, I always uh, have... Sasso and uh, Edge Berserk. Got everything here. There really is an overworld. Yeah, it's a really cool song in uh, like. any other towns. Okay. She... Rose does not have float yet. I don't even attempt those dungeons. Oh, no, she does have float. Oh, shoot. Uh, do I want to do it now? Yeah. Yeah, let me do it now. Which one's this one? This is the summon. Okay. I want to do... I think I want to do the one with Yang in it first. Because I got to make two trips in that dungeon anyway. Yeah. That one's quite a bit of busy work, but you know.
56 feet guys sleep, that's funny. the uh the frog witch is that or am I thinking of the other I recall those enemies being like a bit of annoyance. Whenever you do want to stream buddy just let me know and I'll end my stream. Word. Uh what word? I'll wait for you to get to Yang. That'll be a good point. Okay. Just fucking self cave. I did this really early. It was very difficult. Did you do it without float? No. Oh, okay. I don't think so, anyways. Pretty sure I had float. But you I know, even when you, if you, even when you come here right when you get it, it's still pretty early. Yeah. This is like, these enemies are gonna kick the shit out of you, unfortunately. Oh, that's helpful. Not when he takes yeah. more damage. Uh, yeah, about that. I don't think you do a lot to these relative to how strong they are, so you have to be a little bit more careful. Well, it's funny because yeah, I you may always... even be, You might even be able to say, uh, run away. That's usually what I did against encounters like this. Because they're going to wipe you. No, we got it just takes so much to kill one enemy. Really, that's the only problem is it's their health. Why are you guys not attacking me? That's kind of funny. It's random. RNG, alright. Of course, the two people that are preserved. Yeah, I recall I usually have to grind for a float by the time I'm over here. I don't know if they lowered the level for you to get float or not in this game. Oh, they're pretty sure you just get more experience. You got to that level faster. That's, oh, that's, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. It's not like somebody's getting a level up this time. Also, don't forget, you gotta cast float every time, uh, every floor. Why would the game let you do that? <laughs> yep, time to keep recasting float every floor. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> now, if you want to talk about an encounter to run away from, this one's reasonable. Yeah, you might want to be careful. Uh oh. Well, at least <laughs> well actually, that's there. actually less bad than it could have been. Yeah. If only because. I was about to say, you were going to cast it on yourself. If only because since he's toted, he can't act. 
<laughs> what hit him there? I, I don't know. Well, at least it Wait. works on his corpse. Okay, I'm I glad. didn't know that worked on his corpse. Okay. That's pretty good. I mean, that saved you the trouble of... That MP isn't a waste now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I guess when they said cures every status effect that isn't death, they weren't kidding. It doesn't really matter if they're already dead. Yeah, so I kind of need you up, buddy. Not gonna lie, I kind of need you up. If only... I wonder if Tornado even works on this. I don't know why I just see Edge's corpse floating there. It's just like, hey guys, look, look at this magic trick I can do. Uh, that's just like the Edge sprite I see the most. <laughs> well, people, people make the joke. Like Edge's best friend is the floor. Like, do you not have life? Go ahead. There. The hardest part of Mario Hack Monday is finding a hack still. <laughs> yeah, they're probably not as frequent as they were back in the day, I'm assuming. No EXP for Edge. We live and learn. Also, one trophy for this game is to get every party member to level 70. Well, not every party member, but because Heaven forbid you have to get Edward to level 70. I'm thinking about that when you were put to sleep, you actually killed HP. What game was that? Was it Lisa? I don't remember. Speaking about shoutouts to the Lisa release coming out tomorrow.
No, it was here. Okay. Oh, baby. I want to definitely run from after this ambush. Uh, yeah. Well, don't wait. Don't I get hit for more damage if with uh, if I hit in the back? Oh, probably not. Okay. Oh yeah, this is another really annoying encounter that yeah. I just ran from all the time. I think the other dungeon has one where it's six frogs in the, the witch. And that's the one I really remember. You know, shoutouts to being able to still cast the Suna when you're a frog. Yeah, it's helpful. But, you know, also... Look, there's no touch me, though.
King has 2,000 each. I mean, yeah, Edge is a young boy. Very low level. He'll get better, maybe. He will. By the time he gets level 70. I was even talking about earlier that I don't even think his skill ability is all that great, because I don't recall anything, like, you can steal anything from bosses, really, in this game that might have something. Like, if you can steal, like, the monster summons to make it an easier time, that'd be one thing, but you can't even do that. Oh, by the way, you know RPG Limit Break's happening this week? I do. I look, there's no FF4 on that list. But FF7 remakes on there, so that'll be nice. Can stop work on these guys. K just always needs to be jumping. There's just no question about it. All that for a red thing.
I'd rather take those frogs, actually, right now. Yeah, this entire dungeon is, uh... <laughs> it's not as bad as the, uh, the summoning one. No, summoning was easier, what? Is this it? is way worse. This is Marlboro's. I consider those to be much more annoying. Which I think is a sensible opinion, right? Well, I mean, at least this dungeon's shorter than the, uh, than the summoner one. I want to recall anyway. Three steps ahead of the trees. I think, I think that's the worst encounter. Those two trees and marbles. But the... Yeah, there's... Well, there's a number of candidates. I think the most annoying one is the Toad Lady, but I feel like it's only that annoying because every other enemy is so hard. The Summoning Cave doesn't have nearly as many difficult enemies, but... i say the worst one is probably the Bog Witch, just because she has six frogs with her, too. Unless that's an encounter in this cave, and I'm just misremembering. Okay. I did that on the wrong character. It's literally the only reason I used Cecil's white magic, it's just a cure. Unless I like the rare cats I need as soon as. Everything else. I don't know. I don't think he really. I don't think he ever learns protected shell. Cecil, no. He doesn't learn anything that great. He basically just gets healing magic. And it's not even. He's a really good math healer. Like with uh, yeah. Chira. But otherwise, I don't really. Can be clutch in, in encounters, you know, if you use it as a single target spell. Because his magic stat and his magic power isn't that bad, but. It's definitely not standout, and it most certainly is not as good as Rose's. <laughs> so it's pretty much, I, I usually relegate him to math heals. Why don't you... <laughs> <laughs> if I die, I have to do the other battles again in the chest. Keep doing that. That that moves fine.
think that's the only second game over, I believe. I think I'm gonna attempt these chests the second visit. You need to empty those... What? You're just leaving? That's how, you, that's how you get out of the dungeon. You talked to Yang already? No. If you want to get those chests, you got to go down a secret path, and that the only way out of that secret path is to exit the cave. Oh. So now you got to go back down and go get to Yang again? Yep. Wow, what a great fucking dungeon. <laughs> And you get to go back down and do it again. I'm, I'm gonna attempt that later, that part of the dungeon. The second. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously. You really I, don't wanna. Heck, I'm actually, actually. Can I come you, down to Earth with Foshoyo? Is that possible? Yeah, you have to. Regardless. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can come back. No, because you, uh, you do the, uh, the giant battle with him. Well, yeah, no, so I mean, I'm pretty sure you can. Come back to this cave with Fusoya if you really wanted to. But I think if you want to hit Yang with the frying pan, you've got to do it before then. I'm not mistaken. To get the self summon. No, you can do that at any point. I mean, you, I mean, yeah, you do got to wake him up to get them. That's true. But you have no. to see him regardless in order to trigger that. No, I know, but hold on. I would take this fight anyway. Oh yeah, that's the thing about... You gotta go back, get the frying pan. Mm -hmm. Whack him with it. Yeah. But you gotta make sure you... you I think you, you need to do that before you, you go to, to the moon. Or before you, you go to the last dungeon, or something like that, because I think you need to uh, get the knife, too. Because you, you bring the frying pan back to his wife after you whack him in the self cave and you get the knife. Yes. Which is the strongest throwing weapon. I think it does, like... Which I never use. You should throw it at zero. <laughs> With edge. And then you berserk him. That's the one turn in that fight, you don't have him berserk. He's gonna throw the knife, and then you- I feel like he can use other weapons that are- that does that much damage to throw? No, the, the knife does the most. Okay. I'm alright, like, I'm gonna keep it. fucking kitchen knife. What? No! I've never used it. Well, you should, it's funny. It is funny. Yeah, dealing 9999 points of damage to any target. This must be done before going to the moon for the first time, if you want to get that knife. So you have to do that before you go to the moon. You have to. Okay, so... I mean, that's required because one of the trophies is to get every single summon in the game, so... Yeah, so, well, I mean, it's only if you want the knife, but you might as well get the knife. 
So you'll just have to go back up, go go talk to Yang's wife after you see him. Come back down with the frying pan, whack him with the frying pan, get the summon, go back up, go talk to Yang's wife again. Listen, this is very important, okay? Yeah, FF4. Would you rather have that or the endless amounts of rooms of nowhere in FF2? No, this is like a reference to the Earth Cave. Oh, you mean the worst part of FF1? Yeah. <laughs> you, you will not have any arguments from me with that one. That's so goofy. And I think the developers do, because after that, the rest of the dungeons are not that bad. No, it's like it's just that part of the game that has a... It was well, the... it's not even the dungeon itself, it's just the fact that you have to do it twice and there's like not much interesting. Shadow said Toad Tribe being cute, though. The enemy Toad Tribe. Yeah, they're pretty adorable. I mean, the player Toad Sprites are cute, too. They're pretty funny. Especially their overworld. So I'm guessing we're going to want to do the Sylph Cave everything, which means we're going to go come back and do it. Well, I'm going to go talk to Yang first to activate that, at the very least. And I'll see if you're in the mood to do that again. And then... Well, because I can always come back to the chests. The chests are always going to be there. Yeah. So if you want to stop after you talk to Yang, that would also well, be yeah, fine. I, I don't really care. That's what you mentioned, that you wanted to start streaming after that. So. Yeah. If you're down. I'm down. Game, you've been going for four hours like crap. Well, that's not too long from when I usually do my off stream or my off day streams. Too bad I never use bows. But not even a Rosa? No, nope. really. I always play her with staffs. It's just the uh, it's just because the arrow uh, arrows have an ammunition. Oh, what am I doing? I should have passed. Yay, a potion. Oh, this is a... Uh, okay. I forgot this was even here. Then when Tense didn't uh, restore your HP and all that fully, that was cottages. Good 
And you came. How come you can't come down any sooner? He's busy. He's busy flying. Well, if anybody knows how to fly, it's him. I'm glad they dropped me these kisses. It's always funny how enemies that cast the bad status elements on you drops the item that heals it. Yeah. Like, I get it, but at the same time, it's funny. It's definitely generosity I'll take. Regularly attack, okay. I mean, if that's what you wanted, okay. Shoot, okay. I don't know how you're still alive, but okay. Now that I've leveled up a couple bit, these encounters aren't as terrible, unless there's a marble fight. I love that phrasing, because it's like, they're not terrible, but they are. What do you think, what Final Fantasy getting the marbles are the most? Two. Yeah, the two. Two. Too, yeah. because getting your full party toted can just wipe you. Like, that literally counts as a game over in that game. Alright. That's the love I have, too. Yeah. Not though, you can still beat FF2 faster than you can on FF4. Of course, it's an ambush. And I almost fell back to my chair. Also, good. Great. I gotta get a new chair. This one's about at it.
We're almost there. Man, just leave me alone. Why do trees hit you so hard? Why trees? I want to know. Are they upset about the environment? I mean, I would be too, granted. Okay, this is the encounter I'm thinking of. I like how you can literally tell when the frogs are choosing to wait their turn. Oh, Yeg's alive. Okay. Alright, well, we found Yang. We talked to his, uh... To his sleeping body. And, uh, with that, we are gonna call it a session for today. I might stream a little later, like, really late into the night, because I do gotta stay up all night. Uh, try to. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. This has been another rousing FF4 stream. We had some highs. Had some lows. Uh, Sid survived the bomb. Uh, Yang's still alive. Uh, Tell is still dead. And, uh, big thanks to T for showing up. Always a, always a grand time hanging out with the boy. But yeah, uh, he will be starting his stream soon, and I'll be on there if anybody's want to come out, check it out. And, uh, what else? Thanks again, everybody. Uh, thanks to the people on the YouTube who checks the replays out. And I think that's everything. Uh, unless he had any words of wisdom he wanted to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your words of wisdom? I am eating to prepare. Uh, that is also good words of advice. Uh, always eat. Very important. But, uh, yeah. Take care, everybody. And, uh, laters.